I've been waiting for a deal on home CD players, and boy did I find one at Goodwill. Unfortunately, when I plugged it in, the disc turntable stuck and had to be pulled open. I tried a bit of silicone spray, but that wasn't enough and would require further interrogation. When I finally got a CD in the machine, it smoothly played with a rich, warm sound. But one thing bothered me, the unit stayed in standby mode without truly powering off. So what we'd like to do is install a rocker switch to disable the power, killing that little energy vampire. For this project I enlisted Papa Vestigial Voice for an extra set of both hands and skills. Removing the shell was quite a bit more difficult than I imagined so I want to walk you through it. Begin by removing the five rear Phillips screws. Before flipping it over, and removing the two underbellies recessed Phillips screws. But you'll notice that this isn't enough to slide off the roof. Inside is a retaining plate connecting the roof to the main face plate. Before going any further, you want to gently lift the end, exposing and disconnecting its lateral ribbon cables on each side. Before doing so, I mark with a sharpie the order and orientation. Then we can remove the silver Phillips screws on each side, located just behind the faceplate. Now there are a series of tabs on the sides and bottom that need to be lifted out of their locking position before the shell can be removed. Now let's take it down to Dad's workbench. If this is the power cable, we see it looks like it goes threading around and then into the transformer here. If we touch those two probes, assuming they're coming from our power before they hit the transformer, it should say 120 AC volts. Bingo. Let me break it down for you. In brief, we have our power source, the outlet, and the CD player, the light bulb. When we connect the power to our CD player, it turns on. What we want to do is sever the power, which will in turn shut off the CD player, and install a rocker switch. When it's in the off position, you can see that the CD player doesn't receive any power. But when you rock it into the on position, the circuit completes and the device receives power. Before we go any further, unplug that CD player. So again, in order to install the rocker switch, we'd like to interrupt the device's ability to get power. We'll do this by splicing the hot line from the power cable before it hits the transformer. Each end of the newly spliced wire will run to its own rocker switch terminal. Okay, so we're going to feed it under here. Should be able to come over here. Weaving the insulated cable, we avoid the CD player's mechanical components. Now let's strip that wire. And solder one end to each of the spliced hot power source ends. Slide down the wire shrink and heat to seal. With that in place, let's test out the rocker before installing. Switch your multimeter to audible continuity. Place a probe on each terminal. It will be silent in the off position and will beep in the on position. 
The switch's diameter is approximately 20 millimeters. We'll accessibly position the button away from internal organs. This looks like a good spot. Because this CD player is 22 years old, plastic can become brittle, and since we want a clean look without splitting, let's gently heat the area before using a small drill bit. Graduating to larger and larger bore drill bits. Now the 20 millimeter diameter is larger than any drill bit I have here, so we're left with filing to fit, which actually didn't take very long. As you can see, the button isn't perfectly round, but rather keyed, so I did file in a notch to match that orientation. Wow, a snug fit and a very professional look, like it was born there. Let's attach a female spade connector to each end of the wires running from our power source. And plug them onto the switch's terminals. Off camera, I lubricated the CD's turntable rails to smooth the tray's glide in and out. But upon reassembly, I noticed something. A wire coming out of one of the ribbon cables has been severed. Not sure if it was like that before or if I did it. I probably did. But we know how to repair it. Check this out. Looking excellent. Let's test it out. All right, it works. Perfect. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video, and I'll see you next time.